Hi, I'm Stuck, and uh, this is Bounty Thursdays. And this episode of Bounty Thursdays is sponsored by Integrity. Thank you very much for supporting the community and thank you for all the great stuff that you guys do. Speaking of integrity, their latest XXX challenge was put together by no other than File Descriptor. And uh, if you want to have a solve for that, I would recommend you to head over to the Reconless YouTube channel where those guys are putting together some really cool videos. It's an up and coming channel that you need to keep your eyes on. Um, super talented people, good stuff coming that way. Wow, do you want to know something awesome? Do you? Want, do you Something really, really, really awesome that's going to change how you approach your uh, your VPS boxes in the future? Yeah, lo and behold, Pry just dropped Axiom. I, I think I'm saying it right. It's A-X-I-O-M. And it's a dynamic infrastructure built on um, DigitalOcean for bug bounty hunters and pen testing people, just like yourself. And the coolest thing with this framework is that you're you're spinning it up, right? You, you're creating your own build, like the first build, how you want your VPS or your droplet to be designed. And uh, then he's making a sna snapshot out of that. And within seconds, you can spin up a plethora of different machines just as you need. And this is gonna change the way I approach any of my labs. This is gonna change all the way how I prep my uh, offensive work. Maybe there's even gonna be one machine for each target that I'm looking at. Fresh configs, Reddit setup, put a little bit of a dynamic um, DNS pointer out there, and hey, you're up and running. This is this is game changing for me. Uh, it, there's been very cool ways to deploy uh, your offensive uh, boxes before, like easier scripts and Kali or the Pentestus framework and all these other builds that are out there to make hackers just spin up a box and just work with that. The problem that um, that I realized lately is that the, those are filled with stuff that I don't need. And most of the stuff that I play around with uh, needs to be up and running fast and reliable. And uh, this is the solution for that. It needs to be just a specific episode just to dig into that because it's so cool. Uh, but for now, start playing around with it. Just head over to the GitHub repo, uh, clone it, get started. And since it's coming pre-built with Go, it's a very easy way to get started in trying all those Go-based tools. One of the tools that I definitely recommend you to check out is Alison O'Malley's latest tool called DNS Observer. So I'm just gonna read straight out for you. DNS Observer is a handy DNS service written in Go to aid the detection of several types of blind vulnerabilities. It monitors a pen tester server for out-of-band DNS interactions and send lookup notifications via Slack. Isn't that what we all need? A few seconds later, bam, 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 you're up and running, you're forwarding that port 53, and bam, you get notifications into your Slack channel. Thank you, Allison, for putting this one together. Super easy setup, ready, set, go. Well, another cool thing that I found out just last week, Daniel Rees de Alegria, hope I got that right, or DRA, has this epic site called drawsite.com. He's a open source developer and um, UI UX designer, and he has some really cool tips on how to pimp your terminal. I'm not even joking around. This is, this is, this is serious customization where it looks mm, beautiful. So if you're into just like me, customizing your terminal to make it look like that epic way, I would say head over to drawsite.com, check out Pimp My Terminal, and get your terminal looking fabulous. Because, hey, why sit in a shitty terminal where you can look, look at something that just looks great? I've been a huge fan of Bug Crowds Hunt, and uh, it's all, always one of those passive kind of stuff that I like to have running around in my burp to just listen to the tra traffic going through to make sure I don't miss shit, or it helps me at least look in the direction so I make sure that I'm covering all the rounds, right? And about two weeks ago, Shiv or Indian Leet just took all that information that's inside, um, inside Hunt and 
put that into the GF pattern standard so it's working together with TomNomNom's GF. So you can now just take a lot of data, push it through GF patterns and make sure that as a part of your automation that you're not missing any of those parameters that you should dig into. I think this is a really cool innovative way of just taking something that's been around for a while, building upon it and just adding some new automation logic to it. I'm, I'm gonna check it out, see if it's something that I can uh, implement into my current flow. And if not, maybe that's something for you. Okay, so I think that's about everything we have for this week. Uh, if you got any tips on, on and tools that's coming out, or if there's any interesting things that are in our space, just hit me up, right? Email address is in the description below. And you can always hook me up on twitter.com slash stokefrederick. So, uh, until next time, stay safe and uh, stay curious. Have a good one. Bye.